Well, good evening, Basel fans, and welcome to the 2022-23 FIBA Basel World Cup. We're live here at the Araneta Coliseum, and right now we're about to enjoy the local entertainment. Well, when you win, you win for all. And hello, everybody. Welcome here to the 2023 FIBA Barca World Cup. At the moment, it's going to be our host taking on South Sudan in a classification match. Well, hi, everybody. I'm your commentator, Josh Ben, alongside head coach of the Austin Spurs, Will Voigt. Coach, this game more than just classification. This is trying to figure out who can be the top team from Africa and Asia to qualify for the Paris 2024 Olympics. Yeah, a lot on the line right now for these two teams as we check the score of Japan versus Venezuela. Japan down three, so Gilas knows they have to come out of here with a win to stay alive as a possibility as the number one Asian team. And for South Sudan, watching Angola lose today, they know that they can take advantage, be the only African team with two wins if they're able to get a win tonight. Well, this South Sudan team, you can see Shia coming out, a member of the main Celtics in the G League, who you will coach against next season. But this is a three-point shooting team that's very well organized, but also strong and quick in transition. Yeah, they want to get out and run, find three-point shooting, and they're going to put them up, shooting 43% for the World Cup so far. That's the second highest total. Only Serbia shooting at a higher percentage than that. Well, there's Sunday Detch and the coaching staff of Raul Ivy, a player that you used to, co oh, a coach that you used to coach when he was a player. Yeah, that's right. I had the privilege of coaching Royale at the University of Texas. Also, Fortune Solomon on that staff uh, worked for me at the Bakersfield Jam. Royale's done an incredible job leading this group to this point. Well, this South Sudanese team making history in the FIBA World Cup qualifiers and then making history again by getting their first victory against China in the group stage. But now we're going to head over and look at Gilas Pilabinas. Keeper of first player to come out, plays in the Japanese B League for the Shiga Lake Stars. But again, everybody talking about this man, Jordan Clarkson. Yeah, he's going to have to have a big game for them tonight. You know, open up the World Cup with a huge game against the Dominican Republic. And I think other teams saw that, adjusted their scouting reports to really force him to give the ball up. A lot of trapping and pressure. Well, Kai Soto, number 11. Expected to be the prodigy, the next best player in Gilas and maybe Asian basketball, but you know, at the moment, still very young, only 22 years of age, but hasn't really fulfilled those expectations yet. Well, I think it's been hard for a lot of these players. You know, Coach Reyes hasn't really settled in on a, on a set rotation for these young guys, not knowing when they're coming in, coming out. It's a lot of pressure for them to step up and perform. Dwight Ramos, number 24, but there is Ranza Bondo currently playing with Anyang KGC in the Korean Basel League. He was a champion this year and also won the East Asian Super League in February where he met against San Miguel Beerman. But now, ladies and gentlemen, there is the head coach, Char Reyes, a man who's come under a lot of pressure so far since returning as the coach of the Gillis team. Yeah, well, obviously, as the host nation, a ton of pressure from this basketball-mad country to produce results, but they're still alive for the Olympics. 
AJ Edu, the last player originally from the United Kingdom, was actually born in Cyprus, but had the opportunity to play for Cyprus, Nigeria, Gilas, and GB, but then decided to go with Gilas. China, big victory for them. That puts a lot of pressure on the shoulders of Gilas to win this game. Yeah, no question about that. And if Gilas can pull off the win, what a game we will have in that matchup in two days. But you can see these standings very tight, all of them playing to be that representative at the Olympics. Well, let's stand now for the national anthems of South Sudan and Gilas Filipinas. National anthems of both Gilas Filipinas and South Sudan have been sung, and now the players will shake hands and give each other respects. But now we're going to get set to introduce our three referees for tonight's game. Well, we're very proud to say that we have some of the finest officials here in world basketball. They've done an excellent job in all of our competitions. And there you have Brazilians, Guilherme Locatelli. And that is our three referees, officials there, ladies and gentlemen. Having three of the very finest, Gattis Salins, along with Yorgos Borsanidis, coming from Latvia, Greece, and Brazil. Our technical delegate for this game is Andreas Papadopoulos. But again, Coach, knowing that this game is going to be a must-win, really, for both of them, but more so for Gilas, because they don't have their first victory in China, having the big win against Angola. It's all going to have to go through Jordan Clarks again as we look at their starting five. Yeah, big game here. They understand the... You know, what's at him for them have to come up with a win. For them, able to get some fast break points against Italy, 20 fast break points in that game. That's been an area of weakness for South Sudan. They gave up 23 fast break points. Gilas has to find a way to get easy points to help that man right there, Jordan Clarkson. Jordan Clarkson averaging 24 points per game. That's third at the World Cup, but he's had 4.7 turnovers. That leads all players at the World Cup. Opponents are trapping him a lot, trying to make other players from Gilas beat them. And will it be that player right there? Dwight Ramos needs to continue his great performance so far here at the World Cup, shooting 40% from three so far. 
Dwight Ramos averaging just under 12 points per game, playing for Lavenga Hokkaido in the Japanese B League. And as you mentioned, he needs to have a big game here tonight if Gilas is going to get that first ever victory at the 2023 FIBA Master World Cup. Well, there is a head coach, as you mentioned, under a lot of pressure because this is a basketball country, no doubt. But now let's focus on South Sudan. This team, coach, they are very excited. You're almost like a kid in the candy store when you want your starting lineup. Well, I mean, this is a huge opportunity for them today. All the other African teams losing. Coach Ivy right there understands a win tonight puts them in the driver's seat for that Olympic berth. Well, Coach Royal Ivy coming in due to his connection with Luau Dangan. Also, they have their head coach from Blair Academy also on the coaching staff. Yeah, it's a family affair there. Blair Academy, the prep school in New Jersey, not just the coaching staff, but Mariel Shayak, also a player from Blair Academy. Well, Wenyan Gabriel, who played last season with the Los Angeles Lakers and LeBron James, now a free agent. Mariel Shayak, the main Celtics, Kuwani Kuwani. And of course, it's all going to be about that man, Carlick Jones. Nudy about also the starting lineup, but Dr. Jones, his numbers have been phenomenal. Yeah, no question. Tough game for him against Serbia. Just one for five shooting. Had been dominating this World Cup prior to that. Let's see if he's able to bounce back tonight. Well, tempo will be the key factor. You know that South Sudan are going to play very, very high tempo. But Peter Jock currently playing for one of the top clubs in France, Cholet Basket, who made it to the final of this year's FIBA Euro Cup Championship. Yeah, and he's a catch and shoot specialist, shooting 11 for 16 from the three point line so far in this World Cup. They'll need him to come off the bench and continue to knock down threes. Well, a man who played professional basketball out here in Asia, in China predominantly, but you know, you can see a lot of his coaching qualities from how he was as a player. Very tough as nails, nitty gritty, but you know, he inspires so much confidence in his team. Yeah, he's done a wonderful job with this group. They really believe in him, able to keep everybody loose and free. Uh, and of course, the results for this South Sudanese national team speak for themselves. Very interesting change in the starting line of Aguilas. Japheth Aguilar, who didn't play against Italy that much, has now come into the starting lineup against South Sudan. Yeah, that's an interesting change. Has not seen a lot of minutes so far in this World Cup. I think maybe for Coach Reyes, just trying to find a group that can deliver for him. I talk to the fans about your time with Jap Vagalot. There was a trial at the Bakersville Jam, am I correct? Yeah, I mean, that was my introduction to Filipino basketball. Japheth came to one of our tryout camps uh, and had about 20 media from Manila with him that had all flown out to California to watch that. So it gave you a glimpse into how big basketball is in this country. Well, now moments away from tip-off. Let's go find out what the coaches have to say in their final words to these players. Shout out to Tissot, the official Tissot countdown to tip off is on the way, our sponsor for this game. A big shout out and thank you to Tissot and a long collaboration and partnership with FIBA International Basketball. Well, coach, it's going to be very interesting to see how the rotations and substitutions work in this game for Gillis. Not a lot of consistency that we have seen in their games. Yeah, they've really changed their rotation almost game to game. Not only Japheth Aguilar giving the start, but Ren Zabondo also going to be starting this game. And you heard Coach Ivey uh, telling his players first play, they want to go right at Jordan Clarkson, see if maybe they can get him in some early foul trouble. Well, Adju Dang, a former University of Connecticut Husky player, spent some time playing professionally overseas in Europe, as well as in Great Britain, where his family, along with his brother, Luol Dang, the president of the South Sudanese Basketball Federation, emigrated from Egypt shortly after the Civil War, in the, at that time when they were from Sudan, but now obviously, South Sudan becoming a country in 2011. But as you mentioned, what a wonderful brotherhood that looks like to be a part of that team. Well, they're representing an entire nation. You can see from the fans, and we've had some comments in the press conference about understanding the responsibility that comes with that. It's been an incredible Cinderella story up until this point, and here they are 
with the ability to put themselves in the driver's seat for the Olympic berth. Wenya Gabriel's gonna jump this with young AJ Edu, Kali Jones, as well as young Kai Soto, the Hiroshima Dragonfly is currently on the bench. Well, to all of our fans in the Philippines, Maga Dan Hapon Mabuhay, let's get this game underway. U.S. will have the first possession with clocks in the backcourt. We're looking for a handout, finding Japa Vagula. Going back to JC, Clarkson finds Renzo Bando, takes a three, three is up, no good. Morgillas is going to have to try to keep South Sudan off their offensive rebounds. Is now well, there you can see a Bando with the block. Ramos trying to make a bit of contact, goes up, and when you Gabriel just says, not in my house. Well, what rim protection there by the former Los Angeles Lakers. Yeah, and you're seeing the athleticism on display here. Renzo Bando. Probably the most athlet athletic wing that they have at Gilas with a great play, and then Winyan Gabriel protecting the rim there. Gilas getting this one inbound to Jordan Clarkson. Again, throw a bullet pass to Chapman Vagula, but didn't see it coming. Yeah, Chapman needs to be ready for those passes. You can see South Sudan is going to be trapping Clarkson on all these pick and rolls, so those bigs need to slip out quickly, have their hands ready. Home crowd trying to get into this one. Lee Mott looking to attack, a bit of contact, no foul call, but again, kisses that one off the backboard. Yeah, and lucky there's no call. A lot of contact there from Clarkson. Should have been an and one. Philippines still looking for that first field goal here early on. Jack Vagula finding Jordan Clarkson. Clarkson in the lane, avoids the block, and gets his first two points of the game. Coach, we're probably going to see that all night long. Clarkson isolating. Conley Jones goes in, and now Bondo getting another rejection. Lorenzo Bondo has the keys to the city, and right now he's not letting anybody inside. Bondo just said, get that out of here. Goodbye. Yeah, great play there. You see two blocks already from the athletic young guard. And, and Gilas has started this game with probably their most athletic lineup they can put on the floor, trying to match the athleticism of South Sudan. Well, getting caught on the back screen, Kwani Kwani. That's something Gilas do give up from time to time. Yeah, that's frustrating. Just an easy pick-to-picker play. Clarkson doesn't hear that the screen's behind them. They give up the layup. Clarkson picks his dribble up. Behind Dwight Ramos. Ramos down the middle, finds Jap Vagula. Now, he doesn't take many mid-range shots. AJ Edu battles for the offensive rebound. The foul is going to be called against South Sudan. And Edu's done a nice job so far in this World Cup, keeping extra balls alive for Gilas. You can see him here on the offensive rebounds, just going right over the top of Jones there. Well, Jones took a shot to the head, but I think he's going to be OK. Kali Jones, a true warrior, tough as nails. Bonnie Clarkson goes to the mid-range, the fadeaway's up. Rudy Amat secures a rebound. South Sudan looking to push this. This is good bullying now for South Sudan to get a wide open look for the perimeter. The three is good for Kali Jones. And that's how South Sudan likes to play, up-tempo, keep the ball moving, and find three-point shots wherever available. 7-2 leads to South Sudan. Jack tries another mid-range shot again. That's not his bread and butter. You know him from that trial he had at the Bakersfield Jam. Yeah, I think when he gets in those short rolls, he's got to look to attack the rim from those positions rather than pull up from the mid-range. Well, blocking foul is going to be called against A.J. Edu, so Mariela Shayok will go to the free throw line here for two I shots. That's a deep three-pointer by Carlick Jones, and if he gets cookie, he didn't play too much in their loss against Serbia. So Philippine players just surrounding Jordan Clark, no, AJ Edu, excuse me, just ensuring that the young man's okay. Took a bit of a shot there on the charge, but it was called a blocking foul in the end. Yeah, tough start here for Gilas. Again, struggling to shoot from the perimeter. That's been their issue. 
all tournament long, just 29% from three so far in this World Cup. They've got to find a way to put some scoring around Jordan Clarkson. Well, Japa Vagwala coming out of the game, so coming in is Juma Fajardo. I've been very impressed with Juma. You know, 33 years of age, won many individual and as well team accolades in the Philippine Basketball Association, but you know, he has shown his leadership and his quality in this team. Well, he gives them a scoring option down on the low post. He's got a physical advantage there over Gabriel. It's another look that they can give where it doesn't have to be Clarkson on the perimeter doing everything. In this training, nine to two. Albano playing point guard. Albano goes for another pick three and again. Shot selection continue to be a very mysterious one here from the Philippines. Mario Shaya can make this a 10-point ball game. And again, South Sudan piling on the pressure against Kilas Filipinas. Yeah, you can see great job of pushing tempo here. Carly Jones with the extra pass to find Shayak as the trail man. That's how South Sudan plays. They want to get up and down, find these shooters, and they've been knocking them down as well as any team here at the World Cup. Well, timeout now to Sean Reyes. Let's go and listen to what he has to say. Well, home fans loving the occasion. That word right there, Puso. Bright stars are the new kids on the block. The South Sudanese fans rocking into the building. But, you know, the word Puso, it's a very interesting meaning because it doesn't have a definitive definition in terms of what we would read. But, you know, it's really within the spirit, the fighting culture of these Filipino basketball players and fans. Yeah, and they need to find that Puso right now. 12-2 start here for South Sudan. 10 points coming in transition. Thompson coming into the backcourt for the Philippines. Renzo Bondo going to the bench. Downloaded Juma, got it by Wendy and Gabriel. Thompson with a penetration. Again, should have gone for the layup, but in the end, turns it over. South Sudan with a double-digit lead. Jones left wide open, made his last one. Doesn't get this one, but they secure another offensive board. This is good passing from South Sudan. Jones tries another three. But he expected him to nail those ones down. They were high percentage looks. Yeah, great ball movement there from South Sudan. Jones just unable to knock it down. Boxing draws a contact. He'll go to the free throw line. The foul is on Kuwani Kuwani. Well, you mentioned this as well yesterday. All the entire defenders that are around in defending Jordan Clarkson, they know that that's the only sole game plan for the Philippines. He's now finding it more and more tough as the games have gone by since that opening game against the Dominican Republic. Yeah, no question. I was a little surprised that the Dominican Republic was willing to stay in those drops, allow Clarkson to have a lot of freedom with the ball. Since that game, everyone else has been very aggressive in their coverages, trying to make somebody else from Galas beat them. Clarkson makes a second one. South Sudanese fans trying to put him off. Jones going all the way. Throws the alley up. And you, Gabriel well, went up with a bit of Juba Airlines. And that's a big time throwdown. Well, he gets his first field goal of the game. And now it's an 11 point deficit. Juma finds Dwight Ramos. Turns it over now. The count below is Conley Jones going to go up and he finishes this one under pressure. It's not looking good for Gilas here, coach. Yeah, really rough start here. Got to find something. Clarkson lucky to draw the foul there. But right now, just no rhythm at all offensively. All these bad shots leading to runouts here for South Sudan. 
Well, that's a good job there by South Sudan, but look at the alley-oop. You ride Juba Airlines, Captain Wenya and Gabriel. We have liftoff. Finding Malonzo here in the corner. Likes to go back to Juma. Good hands there by Nudia Mutt. And that is now nine seconds here on the shot clock for Gilas. Yeah, and you know they're going to trap those ball screens. The Gilas bigs have to be ready to slip out of them quickly, catch it in the short roll, see if they can attack from there. Six seconds here for Jordan Clarkson. Goes down the middle. AJ Edu doesn't take many three-pointers, but somehow gets that one to rattle in, and the home crowd started to rally behind that team. Yeah, nice kick out there from Clarkson. You don't see Edu out in that corner often, but credit to him for knocking down the three. Colin Jones missed the layup. Edu secures a rebound. He was still going to push this one. But Clarkson, excuse me, AJ Edu had a good opening there. They didn't get the ball to him. Alonzo going down low here to Juma Fajardo. Clocks another lane. That's beautiful big man to big man. Yeah, great pass there from Junmar. We've seen Edu cutting down into that paint twice now. Home crowd coming behind that team. Jones all the way. Kicks out to Shia. He's made one three. Doesn't get this one. A deuce kills a rebound. He less feeling confidence. And that's going to be a blocking foul against Kuani Kuani. Yeah, and that's actually a good foul there. Kwani Kwani able to slow down the fast break. Gilas with numbers. And we see the great kick out here from Clarkson. Adu wide open in that corner. I think South Sudan surprised to see him slide out all the way to the three. Well, just getting the lucky roll on that one. But at this point, moment, Gilas will take all the luck they can get to get their first victory. Remember, China got their first win tonight against Angola. That surprised all of us. Yeah, big win today for China. Still no team in the Asian group to have more than one win right now. Locks will find the contact. Goes in for the mid-range. Just gets it to drop in. That's a tough shot by Jordan Clarkson. Six points of deficit. Shia Kuo on the screen. Kicks out the dang. He uh, tries a wide open three and again. Six at one and just silences the crowd. Yeah, really nice play there from Shyak. Just a staggered screen away to get him downhill and making the unselfish play of kicking it back out to Dang for the three. Yeah, let's go back down to Juma. Let's get a travel violation. Yeah, Junmar uh, dragging that pivot foot a little bit. I thought I had seen that on a previous post touch. Yeah, you see it sliding quite a bit there. It took but, a few steps in that one. Yeah, but I like that they're going into the post. I think he can be an anchor for them, play inside out, or even look to score. He's got a physical mismatch there with Gabriel. Shyok being heavily defended. That's the open, goes in for an easy lab, and now it's back to an 11-point ball game. And just look how quickly South Sudan can reassert themselves in front. Yeah, nice take there from Shayek. No rim protection there for Gilas. He needed to do a better job of rotating to stop the ball. Nice finds Malonzo. They do pump fakes. Ten here on the shot clock. Five seconds down. JC's got an isolation. Takes a tough fadeaway going out of bounds. Can't get it. Edu comes up with a loose ball, goes in with a jump hook, and at the moment, Gilas just living off the scrappings here from their offenses. Yeah, Edu, nice job of keeping that one alive. Clarkson having to create a really difficult shot there on his own. Well, Peter Jock left wide open the corner. He sticks it at the moment. South Sudan flying with confidence here from the three-point line. And he has been lights out in this World Cup. Seemingly everything he touches going in from three. AJ Edu's made one three, goes for another one. This man, again, stepping up big time here for the perimeter. 
The former University of Toledo player will be playing in the Japanese B-League next season. Well, he shot that one with confidence. You saw the corner three and a few possessions before that, and Adu giving them a scoring punch from the perimeter they're not accustomed to. Well, good block by Fajada, but they're going to call a foul. So two free throws coming up from Wendy and Gabriel. I like the reaction we're getting from some of the VIP fans here, Coach. Yeah, and you can see why. A lot of ball there on that play. The Gilas fans not liking that call. Well, great to see fans of both South Sudan and the Philippines selling out this arena here at the Arenetsa Coliseum. Be interested to know how many fans were here 45 years ago when the former Yugoslavia won the FIBA World Cup here. Well, it is loud in this building. These Gilas fans always bringing a lot of electricity to every game that their national team plays in. Gabriel makes the first free throw for South Sudan. Well, Sunday Detch has just checked into game four, South Sudan, and now Danga Kotz. He made his debut in the last game against Serbia. Well, Denga Kotz and Kai Soto meeting each other in the Australian NBL. Now this is finally them going up against each other here at the international stage. Sunday Desh with a steal. And John Kett, the three-pointer, takes one dribble, pulls up in the mid-range. Shaquette, he is lights out, coach. He really has shot the ball well. There you see him pulling up off the dribble. Seems like everything he throws in are buckets right now at the World Cup. South Sudan doing exactly what Angola and the Italians did to Jordan Clarkson, face guarding him. Trying to find Kai So. Are you kidding me? That's a nice little dump down. Those two were teammates at under 18 level for Gilas Filipinas. Now they're doing it here at the top, the highest level. Oh, Luol Dang, the president of South Sudanese basketball, watches on. That's the fourth assist of the game for Gilas. That came from AJ Edu. Jock over a step back. One second left. Jones and the shot clock with the dagger. And again, doing what they do best. They are just making it rain. The fifth three-pointer of the game for South Sudan here in the first quarter. Yeah, continuing their hot shooting ways here at the World Cup. Tough three there at late at the shot clock by Jones. Boxing goes for another three. He tries to respond. That's too flat. And just a little bit flat on his shot in recent games. Jones going behind the back. Dang, a card doesn't take many three-pointers, but why not the big man? I tell you what, sub-coach Royal Ivy, and I bet he'll make three-pointers. Everybody firing from all cylinders for South Sudan. Yeah, six for ten to start this game out from three. Everybody, like you said, able to knock threes in right now. This is how South Sudan likes to play. Well, Malonzo kicking out to AJ Edu. Edu now trying to dish off to Kai Soto. Another turnover. The clock's on the covers. Ten seconds here for Gilas. Clarkson heavily defended by Sunday Detch. Two seconds now. Clarkson nowhere to go. Hangs in the air. Doesn't get it. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the first quarter, it is South Sudan who have a big lead here against Gilas Filipinas. Coach, the perimeter shooting. They have been on fire so far. They really have. Six for ten from three to start this game. Well, not the, the one, start. Combo. Yeah, I was just going to say, not the start you want from Gilas, but Kai Soto showing his athleticism there. They've got to find a way to slow this pace down. South Sudan wants to get up and down. Gilas going to have to find a way to get them out of this rhythm. Well, here are some of the top plays from the first quarter. Renza Bana with back-to-back -back blocks for Gilas in the early moments. But Winya Gabriel reminded Dwight Ramos who the king of the paint is. Well, a little bit of contact there, coach. Yeah, Clarkson lucky to get away with that one. And there's a little teardrop inside the lane for Clarkson, but... 
You know, it's only been a few players so far on the stat sheet here for the Philippines, but already 10 points coming from AJ Adu. Yeah, and they've needed all 10 of those, but just three players for Gilas able to score in that quarter. That's been the issue all World Cup for them, trying to find some consistent scoring to go along Clarkson. Well, Rouse turning it over. And you can see finishing in transition under intense pressure, Colic Jones. That is a solid finish. Well, there is the QR code for Courtside 1891. Use that QR code and download the official FIBA platform that showcases all international hoops. Currently showing the 19th edition of the 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup. Use that QR code for Courtside 1891. Start of the second quarter. Yeah, and big stretch here with Clarkson on the bench. Gilas has got to try to chip away a little bit at this lead, not let it balloon up to 20. Well, Peter Jock now be defended by Ara Pagoy. Keeper Venner in the back court. Well, that's Kai Soto with him. In the end, Kai gets it. Finds Ramos under the basket. He misses the layup. Well, Kai left it, but then again, Dwight comes up with a follow-up. Yeah, nice pass there from Soto. Good job of Ramos sticking with the play there. Coming off the screen now. Tries to take this one over AJ Edu. And it rolls its way out. He must trail him by 15 points. Kind of coming off the screen. AJ going for the mid range. Tossing it this one. Nobody going in for an offensive rebound. South Sudan had no need to rush anything here. They have the momentum and the control. Gets you the penetration. He's about to turn that one over. Usually the most controlled and composed guard for South Sudan. And good to see a little bit of life here from Gilas. Kiefer Rivera coming into the game. Uh, he had done a nice job in their first game against the Dominican Republic, trying to spark a little bit of a comeback right now. Well, an offensive foul is going to be called against AJ Edu. Of the turnovers that Gilas cannot afford. Well, that's tough on him. That's a second personal foul. So Char Reyes, obviously needing AJ in the game, is going to take him out. And he's been really their only other scoring threat so far in this game. So dang for a quick three point. I don't think South Sudan read the scouting report. It's been a showcase, coach. Well, too simple. You know, just a little uh, quick action, that that wide pin down there for Dang to come off. And Gilas has to realize that they want to shoot threes. Need to fight over the top of these screens right now. Well, then it goes for a quick one. If that's going to be the way that Gilas is going to play, it's going to be a 20-point ball game. Maybe 21 is Dang in the corner. Well, Gilas throw it right away. It goes out of bounds. That will go back to the Philippines. Yeah, and right now, where's the offense going to come for Gilas? You've got Adu out of the game, Clarkson out of the game. Can Ramos step up, deliver a little offensive punch for them right now? Well, then they're in the backcourt, finding Ramos. Looking to attack, goes up, strong move, gets the ab one, and Dwight's going to the free throw line. And that gets the crowd right back into this. Yeah, a really nice take there from Ramos. Able to penetrate off that elbow. And a great finish and one there. Now it's going to be against Peter Jock. But again, just showing that tenacity, that aggression. And they need him to deliver. He's been their most consistent secondary option on offense. So far, a slow start to this game. But with Clarkson on the bench right now, somebody has to bring offense to this group. Dwight cuts it back down to a 15-point deficit. That's coming off the ball screen. Kicks out here to Dang. Got it by Pagoy in the post. So 
Well, they thought about going for three point in the end. Goes to teardrop and it's the offensive put back there from Dang. And Kai Soto needs to do a better job of keeping him off the offensive rebounds. Right, left, wide open to kick out for Keeper Ravenna. The three pointer down for downtown by Dwight Ramos. Yeah, great kick out there from Ravenna. Good look to Ramos in the corner. And Ravenna once again giving them a little bit of a spark coming off the bench. Well, Mott doesn't get it. They got numbers now. Finds Pagoy. Wants to go. Pump fakes. This is Arena erupt if he makes it. Can't get it. But dang keeping Kai Soto off the offensive boards. Another turnover, South Sudan. Getting a bit clumsy here. Then you had a four-on-one spacing there in transition by Gilas. She's not good enough, coach. Well, you know, you're certainly frustrated they can't convert the fast break there, but I like what Ravina has done for this group. Come on the floor, been able to execute some offense for them, created that three for Ramos in the corner. But the same going for South Sudan. They're making some very uncharacteristic turnovers. Now they are bringing Carly Jones and Wenyan Gabriel back in the team. But, you know, is it maybe a lackluster spirit of play here from South Sudan, knowing that they're up against, you know, an opponent that's not as strong as the last three that they've had? Well, I mean, you know, it's early in the game. I think South Sudan respects Gilas as an opponent. Just a nice little stretch there. Gilas able to up the tempo a little bit. Ravina coming in and sparking some life in this group. Well, find Pagoy. Ramos in the backcourt. Three guy backcourt. Oh, Malonzo with the power forward. Yeah, goes up and Ramos to follow up by Malonzo. Oh, he was just surviving that offense, getting something out of nothing. Yeah, again, it's the penetration there from Kiefer Ravina, forcing the defense to rotate over. Nice job of finding Here. Ramos on the cut. Kwani now, wide open, three is up, and again, the three is good. That's the eighth three-pointer on the first half here for South Sudan. Yeah, Gilas pulled way in on their pick and roll, weak side help. Maybe need to think about switching one through five, not allowing those three-point attempts. I'm just trying to isolate here against Jones. Good defense by Kali Jones, but they're kind of cool, a very delayed, well, Pulled this one on the ground. Well, I think he realized he maybe uh, shouldn't have called it at all. Oh. I mean, is he not in the process of shooting the ball, though? No, he definitely is. I think the referee, once he blew the whistle, realized uh, he might have missed that call, trying to even it out by not giving him the free throws. Well, it's going to be a sideline ball, coach. And again, the Philippines now trailing by 15 points. Ravenna being heavily defended by Kuwani. Kuwani, it's a tough one-legged fadeaway. Soto really struggling to get any offensive boards here at the moment. Jones left wide open, goes to three, can't get it. And also able to secure the ball here for Gilas. Also back in the game here for the Philippines. Well, down to Soto, turns around. And they're going to call a foul here against Wenya Gaber. That's a very interesting scenario there. You know, Kai Soto almost going for that Larry Bird shot, jumping around with the back to the basket. Well, that's twice now we've seen him go directly up to the basket on the catch rather than get himself uh, on balance. See the athleticism there with. Gabriel undercutting him, but I also like this action that Gilas used. If teams are going to deny Clarkson, they're going to have to use him as a screener if he's playing off the ball. Have him come in, hold that screen until you start forcing switches. Now he can try to go screen. That means slip out of these. Maybe they can find some open looks for him that way. Well, so to the free throw line, missing the first free throw. This is both. You can just feel the anxiety now from these Gilas fans. Watching on as the, this is back in 2019, the stories 
of a seven foot three Filipino basketball player under the name of Kai Soto. He's played for the G League at night and also went to play in Australia's NBL as Mario Shayak trying to put the moves on. But now Kat Gilles pushes one. Also trying to split the defense now. It's also in the game here for Gilas. That was going all the way. Can't get it. Out of control there. Now South Sudan. And then with Nudi Omat. And a bit of sloppy basketball for both these two teams. Well, Kai thinks about it. Give it go. Finds Malonzo. And that's a nice little play there. The time coming from Kai Soto. Finding Jamie Malonzo. Yeah, great pass there from Soto. Malonzo with the nice cut on that overload set. Soto faking the perimeter shot. I think all eyes went to that. Found Malonzo on the cut there for a nice play. Well, let's go and listen now to what Royal Ivy has to say as his team currently leading by 13 points. Well, Coach, the first thing I'm going to ask you is only one fast break point for the Philippines. That is incredible. That just goes to show, you know, 19 for South Sudan. That's tough. Yeah, 19 to 1 advantage and fast break points. And, you know, the Philippines got 20 fast break points against Italy, so they're capable of getting out and running. But you saw Coach Ivy in that timeout and Luol Deng as well, both of them very upset with their guys, not moving the ball at the same level that they were in the first quarter. Too much isolation play leading to some runouts for Gilas. Well, Perez in the backcourt along with Dwight Ramos and Jordan Clarkson. Slight little wet spot on the floor here. Free just wants to take care of. Well, it's been tough for him so far. You know, teams really face guarding. And you, you made a very good point of you know trying to be a decoy in the offense by setting screens and slipping. But you know, really go through that again. How could he make himself a little bit more effective for Gilas? Well, if they're going to play him off the ball, teams are going to deny him. So they have to figure out sets that use that against the opponent. One of the ways to do that is to make him a screener. Now his man, if he's not going to help, he's going to be able to spring his teammates for layups. Well, Gilas getting oh, caught no. under the basket as Dang is going back to the free throw line. He's going back to where Royal Ivy said that timeout. No need to play one on one. Let's play together. Move the, move the ball. That's how we got the lead in the first place. Yeah, and they really did. That first quarter, such a good job of moving the ball. 34 points scored in that quarter. Here we see in the second quarter, a little more stagnant, too much dribbling in one on one basketball. Dang currently at the free throw line to make the three point play. Converts that no problem. So we're getting a handoff. Final Ramos. Quick three pointer. Doesn't get this one. He must survive. Boxing tries no three, and again, it's all too short. Ooh. Maybe that's a fatigue factor for Clarkson, but the fact that his three-point is happening shows Kalani pulls up for three, and again, it is just simply beautiful three-point shooting by South Sudan, but Jamie Malonzo awkwardly on the floor here for the Philippines. Yeah, really hard landing there for Malonzo. Was going up for that offensive rebound, just got undercut there, landed directly on his back. You know, I'm glad to see him okay here, but that was a, that was a oh, tough hey, fall. Yes. Back to a 19 point ball game. That's Malawatch, the youngest player ever in FIBA. Vassal World Cup history. And a timeout has been called as these two teams will talk it over, but 
coach, nine three-pointers already from South Sudan in the first half. But we expect that from this team. I mean, that's what they do, shooting it as well as any team here at the World Cup. I think for Gilles, they've got to think about defensively not allowing these kickouts, maybe going to some one through five switching, force South Sudan to play out of the post, which is not their strength. We're already doing a good job here. We're just getting beat now. We're getting the word by the, by the last, last screens right there. Communicate, see the ball. See the ball, guys. Come on, take that away. Okay. Same thing, huh? On our five outs. Let's get Jordan on this side. Okay, Kai right here. On the pass to Kai. JC Flair screen. They fell off with that screen. It's not, it's not there. Okay, people hand off. Turn the corner, JC. Kai roll. Kai roll. Okay, then let's pop up. Let's get good shots, guys. Well, here have been the highlights. So far, 50% from the, over 50% from the perimeter, Sunday Detch. Dang is a little teardrop there, but the follow-up by Dang. Dang has been phenomenal in this game so far. Yeah, you know, big minutes from him, 11 points already in this half. But they've done it as a team. Everybody coming onto the floor, able to shoot the ball. Did such a good job in that first quarter of penetrating and kicking out to their shooters. So, so now, the key got by Malawatch. So we're trying to go for the post up. Got to get the ball to the big man. Oh, look at the spin, almost had it, I think. So we're trying to put the moves, but good defense by Malawatch. And there should never have been a reset of the shot clock. So Gillis will get it back, but I think they're going to try and figure out how much time is left on the clock. So look, the ball never touched the rim. Oh no, it did. Yeah, I think the, the referee clearly missed that. He thought it didn't hit it, was about to stop for a shot clock violation, realized his error quickly, and now it's uh, side out. So Gillis a little frustrated there. Harris looking to penetrate. Finds Ramos, baseline, reverse slab. And that's gonna be two free throws coming up for Dwight Ramos. 2.51 to go. Gilas trailed by 19 points. Yeah, nice cut here from Ramos. You can see they're starting to use Clarkson as a screener on flare sets. I think for them, though, they're better served with him setting step-up screens to get these guys downhill. Not a lot of shooting around him. To, you know, so trying to set up catch-and-shoot three is probably not playing their, their strengths as much as trying to get these guards downhill to the rim. This is the first free throw. And the pressure, the expectations on that young man. Definitely has a bright career ahead of him. Still playing for the Hiroshima Dragonflies in the Japanese B League. Ramos makes the second one. Well, Perez picks up his picks up the 13 foul. Had his arms all over him. I don't think he realized why he's arguing that much. It's a foul for sure. Yeah, I agree. No question there. He's got to be disciplined with his ball pressure. Dang, we're going to take on AJ Edu. Malawashi got it by Juma. Shot up going baseline. Looking for a kick out. In the end, goes to the mid range. And at the moment, it's too easy here for South Sudan. It's beautiful basketball. Because now it's a 20-point lead. Yeah, nice movement there from South Sudan. Just avoided the turnover. Now it's going to go baseline. Mismatch got it by Malawatch. Chris putting up a circus shot. Can't get it. Juma Fahada with the follow-up. There is picking up another foul. It's the 14th foul against Gilas. Yeah, and if you're Gillis right now, you have to find a way to change the rhythm of this game. Clearly, their defense has not been working so far in the first half. Maybe go to zone, maybe go to some one through five switching, but South Sudan just feeling too comfortable in their offense here. I 
Let's get a handoff, finding Deng. Hamels, well, gotta be careful. You don't want to send South Sudan right to the free throw line. This has been great so far from the Kings of Africa. Tryout going in. Now is going to be caught against Juma Fajardo. So two free throws coming up for Mariel Shayok. And the home crowd very disappointed with that decision. Yeah, so it, it's hard to see there, but he, he comes in with that other arm, gives him a little bump with it where he really didn't need to. If he keeps both of those arms straight up, adds a little bit of verticality by jumping straight up, that's going to be a difficult finish for, for Shaq. But I think the referee has it right there on that call. Well, the man who plays for the G League team under the Boston Celtics up in South Portland, Maine. This is the first free throw. Makes the second one. one-point lead to South Sudan. Perez just throwing a sloppy post-entry pass. And, you know, this is what we talked about with the line of Aguila. So many players just keep coming in and out sporadically. You know, you just don't really settle into a, a solid rhythm in, in their offense. Yeah, and I, I like this substitution, bringing Kiefer Levina back into the game. Thought he gave them good minutes when he was on the floor. To your point, though, they've really struggled to find a rotation of players that they believe in hard for these guys to continue to come in and out of the game and try to produce. Well, there's two good Gilas point guards who could have helped this team out, the likes of RJ Abedientos and SJ Belangel, currently both playing in the Korean Basketball League. And that's what they really struggle with, is the, the backcourt help for Jordan Clarkson, just avoid the ball from going out of bounds. Right now, forces way up, Amalo Lash with the rejection. Well, no foul called there. Jock comes up with a 21 point lead. Dang pump fakes. Goes to the step back. Tough three. And the rebound has been secured. Clarkson pulls up for a quick one. That's what he needs. The confidence, the belief from Jordan Clarkson. Just to get those three point shots going. Yeah, and I think he's going to have to be overly aggressive like that. Try to get a little life into this Gilas team heading into the half. Sunday Detch just securing the ball, goes to the mid-range, can't get it. Clarkson with the rebound. He's feeling the confidence now. Kicks out to A.J. Du, he has two threes, can he make it three? Chuma with the offensive board. Keep it going down to Chuma Fajardo. Trying to post up the young 16-year-old, Dwight Ramos, big three. And it's just not dropping for Gilas Pilipinas. Well, at the end of the first half, it is South Sudan who have an 18-point lead against the Philippines. This is the classification round of the 2023 FIBA Basketball Cup. Clarkson getting that first trail. Well, you would imagine that that would be a huge confidence booster for him, but it just hasn't been dropping collectively for the Philippines. Well, you know, it's really the first time, and credit to Clarkson, he's trying to play the right way, trying to get teammates involved, but that last two minutes, you really just saw it, put it on his back with this team, the diving hustle on the defensive end, and then offensively kind of taking the focus that no matter what, he was going to get a shot up, knocked in that tough three-pointer there. Well, momentarily, we'll take a look at the stats, key player stats, as well as the highlights here from the second quarter. But, you know, business as usual here for South Sudan, shooting 9 for 17 from the perimeter. That's what they do best. Yeah, I mean, they've shot it as well as any team here at the World Cup. This is how they like to play, get up and down, create three-point looks for their shooters. And so far, they've been able to knock them down. Well, interesting though, the Philippines have out-rebounded South Sudan. That's a key stat, but 15 assists to a seven. What well, that just tells you, South Sudan is just doing a good job of moving the ball better. Well, especially in that first quarter, really good job of keeping the ball moving. They were able to get out into change.
rebounds and three assists away from a potential triple-double. I mean, that's MVP stats here right there. Yeah, you know, incredible line there from Jones. He's been really solid in his play. Hit a couple of big threes earlier on in the game and then just kind of let the game come to him after that point. Well, here are some of the key highlights from the second quarter. Well, Dwight missed the first one, couldn't get the tip in, but I'm not sure Dang wants the assist on that play. <laughs> well, you know, credit for Ramos with sticking with it. He's done a nice job with his cuts. Just needs to be able to find a way to knock in a few of these threes. Well, that was a three-pointer by Dang. Well, he's had a very, very productive first half for his caliber. I mean, he is a tough, tough player, but 11 points coming from him. Ramos deciding to go himself and attack the basket, getting the ad one, the foul drawn against Peter Juck. Yeah, and that's what Ramos does best. Probably the most physical of the Gilas guards. Well, you like what Sunday Detch brings to this team for South Sudan, solid minutes. I mean, he was a key starter in the FIBA. That's the World Cup African qualifiers but at the moment. Really acting as a relief player, role player on this team in the point guard role. Well, there was Ravenna, almost traveling there, but the follow-up by Jamie Malonzo. The hustle points is what Gilas needs in this game. Yeah, and he did a nice job with his minutes in that first half, able to get some of his teammates involved with his penetration and kickouts. Well, they try to foul him hard, but again, it's just too hard. Too big, too strong, and just too good from Dang. Dwight Ramos getting called for the foul. Dang going to the free throw line for the three-point play. And it's just been that kind of half here for Gilas Filipina. South Sudan currently in total control of this one. They lead by 18 points. We'll be back in just over 11 minutes. Whatever our gender, color, belief, or capability, we are all on the same team. We have the power to change lives through basketball. Together, Together we, we are, are stronger. stronger. No, no matter, matter your, your origin, origin, basketball can bring everyone together. Basketball for good. It's rejected. Well, Wedya Gabriel with the rib protection. Almeida in the pass, knocked away this time. Doncic with the steal. Kick out. The finish. Ripley. <laughs> Bine Prepalich there. There's two Prepaliches on the floor. They're cousins. Don't ever wait to happen, but guess he's picked it up. It's a better look for China. It's a wide open look for the perimeter. Oh, puts it right between the legs and again. Oh, baby! That is officially Buena not Chase. Hey, coach, that's put a smile out of you. Let me tell you something right now. The magician. Oh, watch the nutmeg. You missed the nutmeg. Finds Romero. He goes walk up again. Hands it off to him. Oh, for the jump. Great awareness from walk up. Bohm's trying to stay in front of Doncic. He's spinning. Fade away on the left. Glass helps him out. Doncic now with 19. 95% of that jump is a really good job. The power's going to have to put it up from the logo and knocks it down. I'm not sure that was what Coach drew up, but it doesn't matter anyway. It's just fine to see him say, whoo. Tavares right into Doncic's hands. Doncic, Euro, extra pass, Summer. Doncic to Summer. Nice read. It wasn't it for you? He had the two in front. Luka Doncic looks a slightly perturbed. 
He is, and clearly he's not happy with his form. One of nine from the field. You can look at his numbers there, 12 points, and now Banquero for the throwdown. Well, they went to that middle isolation for him, and he went to work, nice spin, and dunk. That is unbelievable. These guys will be legends in their own country, but also in the international basketball world forever.
Well, welcome back, Basel fans. Second half about to get underway here of the qualification games, classification games of the 2023 FIBA Basel World Cup between our hosts, the Philippines and South Sudan. Well, I'm your commentator, Josh Ben, alongside head coach of the Austin Spurs, Will Voigt. Coach, it's been a very one-sided affair so far here in this game. Yeah, I mean, a big half there from Adu, but when he picked up his second foul, really no offensive production for them shooting just 34% in that first half. They've got to figure out a way to find some offense. Can't just be Clarkson alone. Well, Clarkson, as you mentioned, he's been the sole driving force of the offense. AJ Edu currently with 10 points, but Dwight Ramos, three rebounds away from a potential double-double, but, you know, still to get something out of their post play. But, you know, the problem that the Philippines have is they are allowing South Sudan too many good looks from the perimeter. Well, you know, South Sudan is shooting as well as anybody here at the World Cup. And in that first quarter, there was so much penetration and kick out to shooting. Gillis has got to do a better job of just staying solid defensively, not allowing penetration or potentially switching so that they're matched up on these perimeter shooters. Well, they can see Dwight Ramos, one of the key players for this Gillis team, currently plays in the Japanese B League. Lavenga Hokkaido. And now let's listen to Coach Royal Ivy. Set the tone, White. First play. Carly with the ball. Kwani, I want you to go loop over. As that is happening, I want Wingy to set this screen. Stop, man. Stop. 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 Slip out. Come down off the off the screen and roll. Maybe you get the lob for winning right here. You can turn the corner. Who is this? That's him. Hey, I want you to fly well, now, right there. Mario go. Fly now. Work your way down. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Get to the corner so you're not in his way. But start. Pointers on the ball screen. Just those two. Others, everything else was on transition. So make sure we're coming back well, huh? Okay. Be very careful on offensive rebounding, especially if you're on top. Good. Come on. Come on. Good. Three minutes. Well, lots to think about for Co Coach Char Reyes. Because another worrying fact tonight for all the Asian teams. China, yes, they got a big victory, but Japan well on their way as they have defeated Venezuela by nine points. And Japan now one more victory for qualifying for the 2024 Paris Olympics. Yeah, big comeback victory there against Venezuela. And I believe Lebanon also won today. So, you know, the, the group of Asian countries getting interesting. Japan in control of their destiny right now. You heard Coach Reyes there. Talk about his team getting back on defense. 22 to one difference in fast break points for South Sudan. Well, you saw the QR code there for the official FIBA Basel World Cup app. Download that for your smartphone, your tablet, or your Android to get all the best news, stats, and highlights that matter to you most. The official FIBA Basel World Cup app. Download it today. Bondo starting in the backcourt along with, along with a small lineup of Lamando, Clarkson, Dwight Ramos, and Ara Pagoy. Ramos trying to take on Nuni Martin the paint. And again, a nice smooth move there by Dwight Ramos. Yeah, nice patience there on that post, post uh, uh, isolation there. Ramos has been efficient in the paint today. Jones going baseline, finds Nudy Amat. Wide open three in the corner, can't get it. Gillis just trying to get something here in transition. Knocks it hanging in the air, bumping, no foul called. I do the follow up, and again, no foul called. Yeah, great verticality there from Amat, making a difficult finish for Clarkson. Well, shot after missing the layup, the presence of Ara Pagoy just putting him off. Now, can Gillis get something? Let's go for a quick three-pointer. Three is up, and it's good. Well, it could be Dwight time. Yeah, Gillis going extra small here. Pagoy getting the start with Japheth Aguilar on the bench. I would expect to see some one through five switching. I think that's a nice move if that's the case. Try to keep these shooters contained. Ramos goes for another three. Oh, baby! 
Ah, no goras no ngayon. What time is it? It's Dwight time. Well, Dwight Ramos stepping up big time with the confidence. That is Reggie Miller in a Gilas Pilipinas jersey. Yeah, big time pull up there. You love to see the confidence from the young player stepping up in a big way here to bring his team back into this game. Well, Gilas were trailing by 18. Now it's only a 10 deficit. But let's go and listen now to Royale Ivy to see what he has to say to his players. Well, Gilas just going on an 8 0 run there. But the question is can he maintain this? Now, Royal Ivy doing a good job of calling that timeout, but eight points coming for Dwight Ramos so far here in the third quarter. Yeah, and the nice post mid range game there got him going a little bit. See the big three coming up here. Nice step back move there. And Ramos, really the only consistent perimeter scoring threat that Gillis has had here at the World Cup outside of Clarkson. And that timeout, Royal Ivy asking for Seattle C stack. That stack's gonna be a Spanish pick and roll with the guard sitting at back screen. We'll see if they can get him to slip out for a top of the key three. Well, Bondo putting the pressure on Colin Jones. Another turnover. And look at the difference Renzo Bondo makes in the full court pressure defense. Well, that's what he does. Probably the most athletic player on this Gilas team. When he's in the game, he needs to be pressuring the ball, trying to create turnovers like you see there. Well, many people criticize Chop Reyes for not playing him enough in last summer's FIBA Asia Cup. And again, it only really started to click with Renz in the third game. Ramos is feeling the confidence. Another three-pointer. Can he get it? Aju. AJ will do that, battling for the boards, but nothing coming up. South Sudan trying to restore a bit of order. Tough shot there by Carly Jones. White with a big rebound. Ramos looking to attack. Kicks out. Edu, that's a big three. That's going to be way too short. And again, this is where we start to see the shot selection again for Gilas. A little bit unpredictable. Yeah, he had hit those two big threes in the first half, but not really known as a perimeter shooter. Well, great job there by Mariel Shayok. Silence in this arena. He's still trailing by 12. He comes up one screen. Six on the shot clock. Dwight's got to isolate. A hang of the air, avoids the block, but it's going to be a... Turns it over now. South Sudan come up with it. Kwani, big three, another block. That's the third block of the game by Renzo Bondo. Now, White's going to pull up. Should have pulled up for the three. Abondo, he'll go for it. And again, coach, it's like... I don't know how to explain that. You had Jordan Clarkson with you. Why not Dwight go yourself? You had the time and space. Yeah, they have to recognize their roles on this team. A Bondo, an incredible defender and athlete, but really should be looking for Clarkson in transition there. Clarkson now. And it's just becoming the same old Gillas. Sloppy turnovers after that adrenaline just pumped in. Now they just cannot restore that identity. Then the Gillas now have to win this game. If they don't win this game, they got no chance of qualifying for the Olympics now that Japan have won. Jones going all the way. Great defense by Adu. Finds Pagoy. He'll go for a three. Three is up. Can no good, but nobody crashing the boards. Shyak draws a foul against White Ramos. Sure if they call this one on the ground if they call it a shooting foul. Yeah, it should be on the ground there.
Orvena coming back into the game as AJ Edu leaves the game. So Kai Soto coming back in. Kai has often struggled against the quicker, more physical post players that we've seen so far here at the FIBA Vasa World Cup. Gabriel getting a handoff for Carly Jones. Jones going for the mid range. Puts this one right in the face of the seven foot three Kai Soto. Yeah, nice mid range pull up there. Kai getting a seal off. Pump faking. Going for the tough one. No post move there for Kai Soto. Fourteen point lead. Maybe Gable doesn't shoot any three pointers. But can Gilles get something? Maxi goes for a quick one, and that is just becoming the story of the game now here for Gilles. Well, no foul call goes out of bounds, but it will remain South Sudan ball. Yeah, nice play there from Ramos to break up that transition opportunity. Clarkson with the early pull and transition. Feels like he got fouled, but Gilas going too long without getting the ball into Clarkson's hands. They have to find their identity offensively, understand what their roles are, who can do what. I think for this Gilas team to have success, it has to be Ramos and Clarkson as their primary scoring threats. I wonder why the officials are going to review this. Maybe to see who got the last touch, maybe? Well, it could, it could be a coaching challenge here. This camera, let's go. Is it already here? Okay. Go frame by frame. Now, now, this point, this point. I can, I can manage it here. Okay, he grabbed the ball. Check if I can see. This is everything we have. This is everything you have. You know, on this point, both has a hand on the ball, okay? So, Philippines, Sudan. Philippines to Sudan, both. You know, hey, keep it up now. There is no more touch. There is no more. You mean the left hand? Let me check the left hand. Here. There is no other angle that you can check the left hand. Okay, the right hand is there. And we have the last touch. Blue ball with the left hand, okay? So we keep with the two Sudan balls. Decision, decision, decision remains. Remain. Well, it's going to be an unsuccessful challenge here for Coach Chan Reyes. South Sudan will keep the ball. So 19 seconds are on the shot clock. Gilas having to redo the sub now because now we come back onto the court. So Gilas going a bit bigger here with AG Edu and Kai Soto. Team points the difference. South Sudan currently with the ball. On Mario Shayak. Udi Ball looking to penetrate here. Finds a bit of separation. Mid range tries to go for it. Goes out of bounds, but that will be Gila's ball. You see the difference that this Mando makes. Yeah, his athleticism really stands out for this Gilas team on the perimeter. Nice job of uh, elevating above the South Sudanese players there from the weak side. I'll be defended by Wendy and Gabriel. Trying to find Jordan Clarkson. Just getting the ball to him. Another quick three. Three is up. Three is good. 
Back to an 11-point ball game. And that that's something we haven't really seen. So just some simple staggered away action for Clarkson. When he's off the ball, they have to find sets like that that are going to get him open looks. And Gabriel getting rejected. Soto with the denial. Lamont kicks out. Kwani Kwani looking to go in again. Still can't get it. But another block shot. Back-to-back -back blocks by Kai Soto. Ravenna throws up. And again, way too overambitious. We've got to be able to tell those ones. But now, Mario Shayok tries to respond with another three. AJ Adu with the rebound. Good possession out here for Gilas. Find Soto. Pump face goes up. He's at the ad wall, but he'll go to the free throw line. And now Kai Soto just sending a statement to the world. This is how you introduce yourself. Currently playing for the Hiroshima Dragonflies. Seven foot three. Played in the NBA G League for G League at night. Also played in Australia's NBL. Two big time blocks. But now AJ Hedu with the double double at 10 points and 10 rebounds. But Kai Soto currently at the free throw line. Filipino fans loving the occasion, coach. Yeah, really nice drop-off pass there from Clarkson in transition. But Kai Soto coming into this game, giving this Gillis team some life with these blocked shots. You heard the crowd erupt on both of them. See if this can spark them to chip away and cut this to single digits. Well, big free throws now for the big man. He's got to deal with the pressure. Got to make these shots. Makes the first one. His debut game in the Japanese B-League was in February of 2023 for the Hiroshima Dragonflies. And actually played in the Okinawa Arena where the FIBA World Cup is being hosted in Japan against the Ruku Golden Kings. Makes them both. Coming it down to single digits. Sunday Detch coming into the game for South Sudan. Remember, the Philippines must win this game after Japan had picked up the second victory and now one victory for being the first Asian team and maybe only Asian team at the moment to qualify for the 2023-24 Paris Olympics. You will see the chance to chip it down yet again. Finds Clarkson. Clarkson draws contact. Doesn't get the M1, but he'll go back to the free throw line. I think South Sudan wanted a traveling violation called. Well, we've seen it twice now where Clarkson in the corner, they're able to free him up with some pin down action, staggered screen action. That's something that's been lacking for Gilas up to this point. If Clarkson's going to play off the ball, they have to have sets that are going to spring him open. Nice job these last two possessions of doing that. Makes the first one. Aguilas currently winning this third quarter, 14 to four against South Sudan. They only lost the second quarter by one, but it was that first quarter that was absolutely tumultuous. Yeah, it really came out flat. South Sudan able to get in the transition, knock down threes in that first quarter, but Aguilas has been chipping away at this. The crowd really getting behind them in this comeback. Now is going to be caught against Kiefer Ravenna. Second team foul against the Philippines. Detch in the backcourt, finding Peter Jock. Now we're under 10 on the shot clock. Hesitation by Detch goes up and High Soto unable to get the block shot. Of course, yeah. knowing very much about Sunday Detch for the time in the NBL. Nice finish there with, by Detch with the left hand over the rotating big. One more pass, Abando wide open, takes a three, three is up, and again, nobody crashing for an offensive rebound. Dega caught, throws out to Detch. Dang pump fakes. Goes into a little teardrop, but gets his own rebound. Foul's gonna be called on the ground. That's gonna be a third team foul against Gilas. With 2.30 to go here in the third quarter. 
Yeah, Gila's just unable to find that knockout blow in this comeback. There's been a couple opportunities where they've created really nice three-point looks. The crowd ready to erupt, and they just can't knock them in. Going under the screen, Chalk goes for another three-point. You know that's going to happen. Why, Coach? Why go under the screen? Yeah, that's a mistake from Clarkson. Uh, Jacques has shown everybody what kind of shooter he is, primarily just a catch-and-shoot guy from three. Clarkson has to fight over the top of that screen. Well, Vena goes for another quick three-pointer. Probably not the shot they wanted. Yeah, those are the moments they have to be better. They have to understand they need quality looks. Can't go for these home run shots just trying to get the crowd involved. Jock met his last three, goes for another one. Doesn't get it, but Jones with a putback. Soto secures a rebound, the foul's gonna be called. And Soto may have just given a knockout blow there to Colin Jones. And Jones, right now, we'd have to see the replay of this one. I wouldn't be surprised if we'd have to see it in slow motion, but I think they may review this. Yeah, I think they should. Elbows were up high here. I think it was the ball, to be honest. Yeah, actually, that, that's right. It's it's the ball, and Carly Jones, you know, sticking his hands in there. That's the problem when you're 6'1", and you're trying to rip it away from a 7'3 guy. Your head is at elbow height, so I don't blame Soto there. I think they had it as the correct call. Okay, go. Normal speed. So stop now. Let's go this this camera. Slow motion. Wait, wait, wait. Now, now go. Slow motion. Only. Slow motion. Yeah. Slowly. Now, you see, he has the ball in his hand, Slowly. and he's protecting inside the cylinder. There is nothing or reason to so. It's a normal play, normal basketball play. Let's keep only with the foul. Okay. Perfect. So final decision. Keep the foul. No aggra violence. No Wagner Wallace, only foul, just there, okay? So it's gonna remain back to the Philippines. That's the right decision. Third team foul against South Sudan as well. It's still a 13-point lead to South Sudan. Remember, they need to win this game as well because if they pick up the second victory, they need to be the number one ranked African team in the 2023 FIBA Basketball Cup to also guarantee that slot at the Paris 2024 Olympics. Yeah, and currently Egypt leading Jordan, so that would be Egypt's second win if they're able to pull that off. So no foul pulled there. Shire going all the way. Nice pass, finds Jock in the corner. Three is up. No good, but another offensive rebound. Trying to take on Dwight Ramos. Six are on the shot clock. Shai going all the way. Tough one. Doesn't get it. And another foul is going to be called against South Sudan. That's going to be their fourth team foul. Renzo Bondo going to the bench. Well, it's going to be a push in the back there against Dang. I think Ravenna probably making a bit more of a meal of it, though. <laughs> well, you know, smart of him, but he's done a nice job of being involved in almost everything, bringing some energy and tenacity to this Gillis team. Dang locks and gets something. Get around the defense. Throws another bullet pass. Trying to find some help around him, but again, just a non-verbal communication between the Gillis players at the moment non-existent. Yeah, you see Clarkson's uh, frustration there. He's going to get bodies thrown at him when he's got the ball in his hand. So he needs these Gillis players to be able to finish some of those passes. South Sudan have only made one three-pointer here in the third quarter. Blocks to go for another quick three. Doesn't get it. He's got pushed out of bounds. Gives this one back. 
Trying to use the ball screen for Dengen Cut. Pulls off in the mid-range, doesn't get it. Can he get something here? Quick in transition. Blocks it, gets a three up. Three is up. Three is good. That's a big time shot. Yeah, really nice job there from Ramos. Saw Clarkson running the wing. Slowed down a little bit to allow Clarkson to get to that three point line. Good kick out. One of the cleaner looks Clarkson has had in this game. Well, that's a 14 foul. By Kiefer Ravenna. 5.8 left on the clock. Now you see Clarkson knocking that down, and that's a smart foul from Ravenna. He knew they had one foul to give. Just six seconds left in this quarter, trying to finish out without giving a basket here to South Sudan. Gotta get something going. Jock goes for three, doesn't get it. Oh, good defense by Kai Soto. Well, ladies and gentlemen, one quarter to go in which Gilas Filipinas must win this to keep their hopes in the Paris 2024 Olympics alive. Japan winning today makes it very tough for them, but coach, spirited comeback here from Gilas so far. Yeah, it really has been, and they've done it with their defense. Much improved effort on the defensive end. They've gone a little bit smaller. That's enabled them to switch a little bit more on the perimeter, keep these three-point shooters matched up. Well, you know, big thing was Dwight Ramos at the beginning of the third quarter. Some big-time three-pointers, but let's go and see the tough plays of the third quarter. Well, here was Dwight Ramos again. Taking this on, Nunia Mott, the tough fadeaway, the Japanese B-League player against the Chinese Taipei B-League player. But here with the trade balls, Dwight has stepped up big time. He really has, and you know, that mid-range jump shot got him going, followed that up with two big threes, but consistently has been that second threat for Gilas offensively. Well, there's a the mid-range shooting from Mariel Shayok, but the block shot again, the third block of the game for Renzo Bando. Well, so far for South Sudan, it's been relatively evenly distributed amongst the scoring, but Mario Shayok, the leading scorer. They can see Sunday Detch avoiding the block shot of Kai Soto. Oh, beautiful sight there. South Sudanese and Filipino Basel fans enjoying the occasion. Ten minutes, guys. Ten minutes. We got our objective. We got it in the ten. Let's go. We only gave up ten points that quarter, fellas. Well, you can hear Tim Cohen saying in the timeout that they only gave up 10 points. He's actually wrong. They gave up nine points. Philippines winning 17 to nine and giving themselves a little bit of hope in the final 10 minutes. Conley Jones, 10 points. Jonah Clarkson, 15. South Sudan feeling very comfortable. As you mentioned, Egypt very much well. Well, it's only a four point ball game. It's very early on, but you know, those two teams will battle to be the best African team to qualify automatically for the Paris 2024 Olympics. Yeah, I mean, South Sudan understands they need to get this win to put themselves in position for that berth. Right now, Gilas doing a great job stepping up their defense, not giving up open threes the way they did in the first half. Well, Detch pulls up for a three-pointer, can't get it. They do Towers for the rebound. They've got it back to eight points in the third quarter. Now they trail by 10. Boxer being heavily defended by Peter Juck. Boxer trying to go all the way to get taking over. No foul calls. Yeah, tough finish there from Clarkson. Able to get inside, finish over a crowd in the paint. Home crowd getting into this one. Final soul of a Sunday Detch. Detch going to the basket, doesn't get it. Good job by Abondo. Now, can Gilas capitalize? Finds Ramos. Back to Clarkson. This place will erupt. Man, he knew that wasn't going in by the way it left his hand. Yeah, and that's been that big play that's just been missing. This crowd just wanting to erupt, getting behind their team, have not been able to knock in that big three so far. And here on the shot clock. Gets kicks out to Mario Shyok. Shyok down the lane. Can't get it. He must come up with another ball. Ramos finds it. 
A.J. Edu to get, he finishes under pressure. That is a tough shot by A.J. Edu. Yeah, it really was. Uh, coming down and transition off the catch, finishing over length there. That's a very difficult play. Great job from Edu. Now it's a six-point lead. And Jock off the mid-range. In and out, can't get it. South Sudan have gone ice cold. The Philippines just turn it right back over. Well, this is a worrying sign. I think he's going to be okay. I have to see the replay of what happened there, but just think he lost control of it. Yeah, unfortunate break there. And you know, it's been a subtle change, but Soto's presence defensively has allowed the Philippines to stay matched up on the perimeter. They've kept him in a drop, really content guarding pick and roll with just the two players involved. Pushing out to Nunia Mott. I'll let this guy have any room, but that's a quick three-pointer by Colin Jones. Can't get it. Soto secures a rebound. Philippines building their energy off this home crowd. Boxing looking to isolate. Draws a contact, goes up, doesn't get it. Abando gets a loose ball. Finds AJ Edu. Oh, the alley oop time. Salomon Kai Soto. That is a big time play. Kai Soto all of a sudden. Oh, baby. Are you kidding me? The one two punch. Maga Dunkabi. Kai Soto has come ready to play. Ooh, we are not. That is just as big as it gets. Yeah, huge play there from Kai Soto, and he's really been the difference in this game on the defensive end, anchoring their pick and roll coverages so that they can stay matched up on the perimeter shooting. And then you're seeing him offensively with the finish. Seven minutes is a lot of time. No need to panic. We got to get stops. They put the pressure on us. We good. Just take a breath right now. We good. We get stops. We score. Horns high up. But right now, Felipe, set it high. Shoulder to shoulder. Let him get downhill. Horns high. Horns high. Let's get stopped. Take your time. Stay together. They made that. Right now. Together. One, two, three. Together. Coach, incredible. The Philippines have seven block shots in this game so far. Yeah, you see Clarkson here with the big pull-up, but it has been the defense of Soto sparking this Gillis comeback. His rim protection allowing their wing perimeter defenders to stay matched up on the South Sudan shooters. Well, Clarkson getting his points as usual, as you would expect. It's 17 points for Jordan Clarkson. This team trailed by 20, 21 in total, actually. Now they've brought it back to a two-possession game. South Sudan still scoreless here in the fourth quarter. Jones looking for that separation now. Foul is going to be called. That's the first team foul against Gilas Filipinas. Again, it's so good to see him finally get his purpose in this team. Renzo Bano can offer this Gilas team so much. Well, he can be that Eduardo Francisco role where really he's just on the floor. Defense, match up with the opponent's best player. But when you're Gabriel getting the first field goal, and that's what South Sudan missed. Yeah, they've got Gabriel now in the finishing end, going to that two-man game with Carly Jones. They're not using the screen. Now by Carly Jones. Good defense by Carly Jones. And now look out below, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes Dem with a two-handed jam. Oh, it's, it's so strange. You get into a rhythm. You know, the Philippines don't need superheroes right now. They need to be very collective as a unit. That kind of shot selection, you just have to ask the question, why? Yeah, and that's, uh, you know, that's been their problem so far in this World Cup. Players have to understand their role 
in those moments, you're not looking for Renzabano to create offense on an isolation. You need to continue to go through Ramos and Clarkson on, your, on the offensive end. Well, Colin Jones, it's kind of a relatively good game so far this evening for Sudan already. A double double, 10 points to 10 assists. And he was finding when you gave just under the basket. That was their first two points of the fourth quarter. Philippines still leading the fourth, six to four. Build the momentum. Build it down to just four points off the trailer by 21. Watson almost loses balance now, spinning around. Using a bit of contact going in. He missed a layup. It's a tough one there, but nobody follows in for second chances for this Gilas team. Dwight's got to put up a tough three point. Three is up. Three is good. Oh. When it rains, it pours in the case of Dwight Ramos. Yeah, what a second half for him. He had to put that one up late in the shot clock there. And now South Sudan making another costly turnover. A legal screen set by Dang, number 13. Well, he's brought the Typhoon to Manila. Check your umbrellas, ladies and gentlemen. This guy has made it rain this evening. Yeah, really big shots here in the second half. And for Renzo Bondo, that's the role you need from him. Extending his pressure up the court against Jones, able to draw the offensive foul there. Five-point deficit. White guided by Kwani Kwani. Trying to go in the lane now. Puts up a floater. Doesn't get this one. Their offense stayed in the hands of Dwight Ramos. Again, a tough move by Jones, and he gets the ab one. It's just the inexperience of Renzo Bondo playing against it. You know, the best G League player last season. Well, that's a big time play from Carly Jones, sensing the moment there. South Sudan able to spread Gilas out, so they didn't have Soto there at the rim for protection. Jones seeing that going coast to coast for the layup. Well, a chance to make this back to an eight point ball game. Twelve points for Jones. 10 assists, actually three rebounds shy of a triple-double coach. Philippines with two team fouls. South Sudan only one. Wants to try to come off that double high screen ball. Soto was wide open there. Wants to go to a tough fadeaway to get, delivers big time. Yeah, a little Spanish pick and roll action there with Ramos saying the back pick. Ramos, because he's feeling hot, getting a lot of attention from South Sudan, able to create space for Clarkson. Another Spanish pick and roll scenario coming again. Jones going all the way and exploiting the Gilas defense. Yeah, they've had a hard time defending that. Should be a simple switch with the two guards involved in the play. No communication there that time from Gilas. Snowles loses his dribble, finding Dwight. Got it by Wenya Gabriel. Bumps in the lane, no foul pulled. Jones just getting away with a push up. Nunia Mott, this is a big three. Big time shot by Nunia Mott. Back to double digits here for South Sudan. 
that's a big three there. Clarkson still on the ground, slow to get back in transition. Oh, South Sedan taking advantage of that. And that's really the first three that they've had in transition in this second half. So if you remember, it was 22 to one fast break points in the first half. Gila's doing a nice job in the second half of slowing South Sedan down. Just couldn't get matched up that last possession. trying to be positive with his players, but now it's so tough because he went from being 21 down to those four down. Now it's back to 11, 4.36 left. You gotta think momentum maybe has that adrenaline cooled off for the Philippines. Well, it's still plenty of time left in this game. You heard uh, Coach Reyes there talking about zoom action. They're gonna look for Kiefer Ravenna here to set a screen for Clarkson to then come off for a handoff. You can find an AJ Edu. Got to buy Wenya Gabriel. With this Tony over, it's going to be Gilas Bull. Now you see the South Sudanese players asking the coach to challenge it. Well, that would just be disastrous to start the fourth quarter with a quick turnover. Let's go for Which team took the challenge for? Head coach challenge for the, for the out of bounds. Well, let's have a look at the replay. Yeah. yeah, the challenge was here then as well. So head coach challenge, out of bounds. Out of bounds. Let's go. So have a ball and you have a touch. Have a touch. Have a, a touch on blue six here. Perfect. Got a good catch. So final decision. Ball is South Sudan sideline. South Sudan sideline, okay? Well, the change has been made, but you knew what was new was going to be a key last ball the way Jordan Clarkson reacted afterwards. He knew he touched the ball. Well, you saw the reaction from the South Sudan players as well, and that's disappointing to come out of that timeout unable to execute there. Jones here in the backcourt. 11 point lead to South Sudan. Find a dang. Gabriel has a mismatch against Dwight Rattles, and that's just too easy. Bully basketball. Yeah, and that's the Spanish pick and roll play again. Gilas having issues. That time they went with a triple switch. All three defenders switching men. Ramos getting caught under the rim there from Gabriel. Locks it looking to isolate. The left of the mid range to capitalize. And no foul calls. This is good for South Sudan now. Riding the storm. Up by 21. Gillis brought it back to four. Jones gonna switch on defense. Find it dang. Time winding down now. Jones, Hell Mary. Almost got him at another offensive board. See, we're alive. He's just saying, take your time here. Run the clock down. Kicks out of Marcos for three in the corner. And it's a costly foul because now it's going to be three free throws coming up here for South Sudan. Yeah, a tough break there. Renzo Bondo already with three blocked shots on the perimeter, trying to make it a fourth one here. He's got to contest that with the left hand instead of the right hand by Coming across the body there, he puts himself in position to foul the shooter. Tough break there for Gilas. It's a very impulsive play for sure. 
It's been times in the games we've seen from Gita, some almost rookie mistakes in the dying moments of games that really have cost them. Yeah, you know, Renzo Bondo, a young, talented player, these are valuable minutes for him as he develops in the future, but that's been the issue with Gilas. Haven't really settled on a rotation uh, as we see uh, Pavoy coming back into the game here. Well, three free throws coming up for Nuni Omot. Talk about this man, of course, when he, you know, about him going to the New York Knicks early in the year. But, you know, you really like to see players extending out into the international game. He's enjoyed his time playing in Chinese Taipei and Kaohsiung. And you know, he's been really a driving force and a true leader for South Sudan's team in the qualifiers. Well, also the MVP of the BAL in this last uh, season playing for Al-Ali. Then coming off one screen, finds Clarkson. Know it well. Stopping a one-two step there. Now Ravenna goes up. Box with a tip back. Back to a 14-point deficit. Yeah, and they're going to have to extend their pressure here. See if they can force a turnover. Maybe look to trap. Good defense coming by Nudy Elmont. Finds Gabriel. Hot foul by Ramos. So two free throws coming up for Wenyan Gabriel. Yeah, we're almost uh, caught on that screen there. He needs to switch onto the big. Just a little late here. You see the foul on the arm there on Gabriel. Well, it's been collectively a good game from South Sudan. To score this game has been Colleague Jones with 15 points. Kwani with eight. Mario Shayak with 12. And Daniel Jock also chipping in 13. But now, Winyan Gabriel can become the fourth player in double digits if he makes his free throw. Just going to get the second one. Watch Clarkson goes for another quick three. It's up and it's good. Clarkson well, now going up to 24 points with that three pointer. 12 point ball game. Great pass there from Ravenna, seeing the cross court skip to Clarkson. Jones going to beat now, going up. Oh, this is for the offensive board. Amon made his last three, makes another one. And Juba Airlines now becoming Juba Trables. The kings of South Sudan making it right here. The Typhoon has arrived. Yeah, tough break there for Gilas. Couldn't come up with the offensive rebound. Ball kicks out to Ahmad, and he's going to make that shot more often than not. Shooting from both these two teams has been relatively good. A combined total of 22 three point field goals has been made between these two teams. Yeah, Clarkson uh, just nine for 22 in this game. Been a tough go for him throughout this match. Well, the Clarkson family just enjoying the occasion, of course. So we say that, you know, he does have five turnovers. I mean, he's averaging, I think, what, four turnovers per game? But he does have 24 points. As we said, it has been a tough game for him, though. Yeah, not really efficient in how he's gotten there. He's actually yep. had some clean looks. He wasn't able to knock down. And 
You see that stat line, plus 26 with Carly Jones on the floor. Huge game for him here with South Sudan. The boy three in the corner, no good. 19 seconds away from South Sudan getting their second victory, which now will mean the Philippines will have no chance of qualifying for the Paris 2024 Olympics. Japan's second victory against Venezuela. Might be there nailing the coffin as Nunia Mock goes in. He draws a foul. And he'll go to the free throw line. Yeah, nice finish there from Amat. Ty Soto uh, had been doing a nice job protecting the rim. Got caught there with his feet on the ground. Needs to get to verticality, make that a little bit harder for Amat there. With time running out here for Gilles, you can see the disappointment on all their faces here. Valiant effort to come back into this game, but looks like they're going to come up short. That was the unbelievable comeback, started by cutting it down to 10 points in the beginning of the fourth. And getting it to just four, but South Sudan doing a great job of riding the storm. Seventeen point ball game. Ramos goes for another three. Three is up, no good. Looked about going for the alley oop with Wendy Gabriel. Gabriel just plays that one over Dwight. No, over Kai Soto, excuse me. Yeah, a really nice drop-off pass there from Omad. Gabriel able to finish the easy one. Oh, Soto with the reverse alley -oop. And that might be a little bit of a highlight there for the Filipino fans. Yeah, that's the third time we've seen that, where he just takes that entry pass and goes right up with it, showing his athleticism at seven foot three. Jones cooking as he does always. 17 points, one rebound away from a triple-double for Colic Jones. Ravenna goes to the deep three, can't get it. Dang thought about taking this one. It's going to be a turnover now. Philippines will try to salvage something. Moxie goes for another three-pointer, doesn't get it. Soto goes up and he'll go to the free throw line for two shots. Oh, look at this alley -oop. That's a big time play. That is Mabuhai to the iron net to come and see him for Kai Soto. And you see the talent there for Soto, the length and the athleticism. The future is bright for him, and this is experience that's going to be valuable for him moving forward as he becomes the face of this Gilas national team. Well, history again here for South Sudan, picking up the second victory of the FIBA Basa World Cup, and maybe one victory, depending how things out. Looking at the Egypt game, of course. Look at that score. They're currently leading Jordan by three points. That's in the quarter four. Egypt already have a victory too, so it'll be very interesting. As Colin Jones, another three-pointer. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of this one, South Sudan take the victory. They win 87 to 68 against Gilas Filipinas. Colin Jones, another great performance of 17 points, 14 assists, and nine rebounds. One rebound shy of a triple double. Yeah, he was tremendous. Didn't force anything throughout the game, made big baskets when they needed it. They were plus 30 with him on the floor. I mean, they outscored Gillis by 30 points for the minutes he is on the floor. So you see the contributions he made for his team. Well, they pick up their second win. One more game for them will be against Angola. That might be the game. If they can win that, possibly, depending how results go, could see them qualify for the 2024 Paris Olympics. Yeah, and that's going to be a big matchup. Point differential potentially could come into play there, but Angola is still very much alive if they're able to pull off that victory over South Sudan. Well, big performance. There you can see Jordan Clarkson. He finished with 24 points with five turnovers as well. Along with the great Luau Dang, the president of South Sudanese basketball. This is your time. The Kings of Africa 
The Kings of South Sudan celebrating with their fans. What a beautiful sight that is. And trying to make history yet again to qualify. One more. One more you can hear Carlick Jones, Dr. Jones say. And that would be history again if they can qualify for the Paris 2024 Olympics. The Philippines hitting 10 three-point field goals in the end. Just not enough. South Sudan a little bit cold in the second half. Only three three-pointers from the nine they hit. Well, you know, the Philippines did a much better job in that second half of staying attached to the perimeter shooters. Soto, a big part of that. They were able to defend the pick and roll with just two players, Soto protecting the rim. That made a real difference there in the second half. Now, of course, if Egypt does win against Jordan, that would make things very interesting in the final day because that would have two African teams on two victories. Angola would also be in the mix, but they'd have to defeat South Sudan and hope that Egypt lose, and that would be a monumental mathematical headache. <laughs> well, that's what makes this tournament exciting. Uh, there's always an important game coming up. Every possession matters as point differential often comes into play. Well, Ramos finding A.J. Edu. That was a tough play at the beginning of the fourth quarter. A.J. Edu finishing the game with 12 points. Dwight Ramos with 20, Clarkson 24. And Adu quiet after that explosive 10-point start there in the first quarter. Well, that was a dump down alley -oop. finding his former under-18 Asian FIBA Asian Cup champion teammate. And the home crowd, they went ballistic over that play. But it was kind of from that play there. When Renzo Bondo went for the isolation down by four, it just never went back for Gilas again after that. Well, that's been their issue in this tournament so far. Players needing to understand what their roles are, finding some clarity with what their offense looks like. Obviously, Ramos with the big game. Clarkson, you know, is going to deliver. The players around them need to learn how to play off of those guys. A big play there by Colic Jones, taking them on coast to coast with 5.42 to go at that point in the game. Well, he has just been terrific so far, featuring for this South Sudanese team. Clarkson, you know, efficiency is the big thing for him in this game. You know, he has to take the scoring bulk by himself, but, you know, it was, as we said, and you made this point very well when you clarified, he has 24 points, but it's not been a great game for him. Yeah, just 9 for 23 shooting, 5 turnovers to go with that. Had some open looks, actually, this game, just couldn't knock them down. And that was the reverse law value coming from Kai Soto. Something the Filipino fans can enjoy tonight as they go home. They'll have one more game. They have to play against China. And by the way, things have gone for Japan. China must win that game. So you know the Philippines will be looking to spoil the party for China. Yeah, no question. I mean, they want to get a win here for their fans. Obviously don't want to go through this World Cup without getting at least one win. Well, ladies and gentlemen, China got their first victory against Angola. South Sudan continue to pile on the misery for Gilas Filipinos. But for now, it's Magandang Gabi and Paalam to all of our fans here in the Philippines. And good night to all of our beautiful fans in South Sudan.